Bomber Command Headquarters stand final orders by the Commander-in-Chief, Air Marshal Elwood, before the Automare maneuvers officially known as Exercise Bulldog. Typical of the scenes which followed at bomber stations up and down the country was this briefing of our crews as zero hour drew near. Keep a really good lookout the whole time after crossing the Dutch coast out until you get to point H where you're going to start letting down. So to the start of the first night attack. The objectives, industrial centres in the Midlands, the south of England and in Scotland. Exercise Bulldog had begun. By next day, the attack centred another stage as gun crews defended airfields against lightning raids by Mosquito fighter bombers. Again, the scene switches to the heavy bombers as RAF Lincolns and Lancasters make ready for daylight assaults on other vital objectives. A series of raids designed as an all-out test of Britain's defensive strength. On the ground, the Royal Observer Corps had an all-important part to play in dealing with each wave of attacks. Minute-by-minute minute progress was followed on the plotting table, as in those still vivid days of the Battle of Britain. At every fighter station, the order scramble signaled British, French, Dutch or Belgian pilots to their place in the changing picture of defence, a picture in which the speed of their jet planes was a decisive factor. Into the air went the fighter, then from a Lancaster bomber, the news camera followed the progress of meteor jets on their way to do battle. <laughs> Meanwhile, the United States Air Force had also joined in, and Mr. Arthur Henderson, Britain's Air Secretary, took a trip in a B-50 bomber. More moves on the plotting table as the bombers held on their course and vapor trails across clear skies told of jet fighter attacks near the target area. Another scene recalling the air battles of 1940 as with the end of another day the maneuvers drew to a close. And so to the last chapter of Exercise Bulldog, with the men of five air forces back at base. Weary, but glad to have played a part in weaving the pattern of air strength in the western skies.